Hi, welcome to our VB developing channel. Today we will learn about insert, update, delete, search, autocomplete text, dynamic database connection etc. in VB.net and SQLite database. In the previous video we saw, insert, update, delete, search, autocomplete text, dynamic database connection etc. on MySQL database. Today we will learn about same things, but on SQLite database and with of the same project. That is we will not create a new project here. Which means we can know the difference between SQL Server and MySQL Server and SQLite database. That's we can know query writing style of three databases etc. And later when we discuss the database in more details, then we will know more deeply. Let's say one more thing here, since I'm not creating a new project here, those who are watching the video for first time, may have difficulty for understanding. Now we close it and go to form. Here you can see, after installation, five references are added.
Now we will prepare the program, to create the connection. Let's say here, since our project was built on SQL Server database, so here we changed only some code, everything else will remain the same. And the only reason for doing this, is so that we can know if there are any differences, between two, two databases. Those who are watching this video for the first time today, may find it difficult to understand, I request them to watch the previous video, I'm putting the link of the video in the description box. Here you can see, I will just write the word SQLite instead of the word SQL client, now I will copy this word and paste it everywhere. Now we will apply the same things inside the form. Sorry, there are still two tasks left, one is to provide connection from outside, and other is to create database. So we will first set the connection string. We have already prepared the connection string here. Now we just copy and paste it here. Alright, now we will create the database. Let's say we are using SQLite DB browser here.
Alright, now we will see the product edit and update. Alright, now we will see the product delete. Ok, now we will check our search box is working properly or not. Here you can see, our search box is working properly. So everything is fine here. Today's video ends here, in the next video, we will learn the same topic, but on Microsoft Access Database. If you like the video, then subscribe the channel and share the video.